Hi, this is Sherry from World Language Cafe, and I'm here today to talk to you about one of my favorite things, trifold flashcards. Now, trifold flashcards are going to revolutionize the way that you teach vocabulary and verbs in class. And we'll get to them in a minute, and I'm going to give you some free samples at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Right now, let's take a second to look at old school flashcards. Old school flashcards have the Spanish on one side and the English on the other side. Now, there are a couple problems with these. Number one, half the students spell the word wrong or they don't make the flashcards. Number two, they're looking at English. We don't want them to be looking at English. We want them to see the word and have an image in their head of what that is. And another problem with these, they just, they don't have visuals. They don't have language and context. Students have no idea how to use these words after they make these flashcards. And then, as we know, where do the flashcards end up? Crumpled at the bottom of their lockers, under their beds, who knows where. So for the end of the year, they don't even have these to study with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and get rid of them because they stink, okay? So let's take a look at some trifold flashcards. First of all, what is a trifold flashcard? Here is a trifold flashcard. So it's a little strip of paper that can be folded into a small book that has a picture of the vocabulary word or verb and then the word. So here we have some great visual cues for your learners. Now, what the students are gonna do with these is they're gonna take this word and they may need to adapt it a little bit. For example, in this one, they need to make it plural. So you wanna let them know ahead of time. You might need to make some of these plural. You might need to change them up a little bit. So here's the sentence, de que color son tus ojos? So they have to fill in the word ojos. Mis ojos son verdes. They're filling in ojos again. Ana tiene ojos azules. So just right there, they wrote ojos three times and they got some visual clues. Then they flip it over and they have the same sentences, except this time they're gonna be filling in more of the words. Now they have to fill in de que color son tus ojos. Mis ojos son verdes. So you can see here, they're getting the language in context. Holy cow, we're teaching them interrogatives, we're teaching them possessive adjectives, and we're teaching them adjective agreement all within these little sentences in a way that they can do it correctly. So I have to tell you, this is kind of like sneaking vegetables into your kid's spaghetti sauce. Shh, don't tell. Okay, so that's a trifold flashcard. What they look like when they first come are sheets like this. So you see, these are in color, but yours don't have to be in color. A lot of the students don't mind if it's in black and white, then they can color in with pencils, or colored pencils or markers or things like that. So they actually like doing that. So they just cut these strips out and then they have them ready to go. So once they've done those steps, they can either use a sheet like this, and they're gonna write the three sentences. So now they're getting even more grammar and context, and they're learning how to write these sentences correctly. Because if at any point they don't know how to say it, they just flip the flashcard over and they can see how it's supposed to be done. What I like to do with my students is have them have separate trifold notebooks. So here you can see, there's a manila envelope in here so they can keep their extra verb strips in here. And then they have their uh, trifold flashcards that they stuck on here and their sentences here. Now you might be thinking, oh, am I going to have to correct that? Ooh, nobody likes correcting. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the answers and you're going to put them in a binder at the front of your classroom. So whenever they're done with a set of trifold flashcards, they can go up, check their answers over and they can circle errors or highlight errors and then correct them. So all you have to do is go through and check that they've been correcting these things and you're good to go. I love it, self-correcting is the best. What they can do when they study for quizzes is they can just flip these open like this, all right, to study. So after they're done studying for a quiz, what you can do is cut off the tops of the flashcard so now you have the pictures. 
You can make sets of these to play games in your classroom. I like to play fly swatter. So my students have all the vocabulary words spread out on their desks and they have either spatulas or fly swatters. You can get those cheaply at the dollar store. And you say a word and whoever slaps the word first gets a point. So that's fun. Once you're done playing some games with your students, they're gonna take their little mini packets and they're gonna tape them onto a master sheet that you keep in class for each student. So they'll have all their verbs, all their vocabulary right here. When it's time to study for the end of year final exam, they can use all this to study. They can pull them off, study, flip through the verbs or vocabulary, and then tape them right back on. Works really, really well. As you can see, trifold flashcards are very versatile. They make awesome sub plans that you can use if the sub doesn't even speak Spanish because your students already know how to use them after they've done one set. So you just need to leave a bunch of them in a folder along with a basket of scissors and some paper clips and they're good to go. Trifold flashcards also are great for differentiated learning. If you have students who are super achievers, give them some of the extra ones. Um, and each set includes the basics. For example, body parts, I have all the basic body parts, but then I have some more detailed ones. Belly button, ankle. So you can give those types of things to your um, overachievers. Also on the other side, if you have students who are struggling, just give them a smaller amount of vocabulary to work on. Maybe give them 10 words instead of 20 words and let them master those first. Well, I hope that this video has been helpful and that you find trifold flashcards as useful as I do. You can get some free samples online if you go to teacherspayteachers.com and type in World Language Cafe, and then you can either search for trifold flashcards or you can click on free on the left-hand side and there's some free trifold flashcards. I have AR, Spanish verbs, and fruits. So I hope you check them out. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.